my channel. Two clips have been released to the poor unfortunate souls scene, which I'm going to break down in this video. The first clip features Melissa McCarthy singing the beginning of Poor Unfortunate Souls. It starts with a close-up of Ursula singing the first couple of lines of the song, starting with, I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. On the line, but you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. The camera moves back so we can see Ursula's body. When she says repent had seen the light and made a switch, she piles her tentacles on top of each other. Then on true, yes, she pops her head up and leans on her tentacles. During the song line, and I fortunately know a little magic, Ursula swims upwards reaching for something, and I presume she is getting a potion here. She then circles around her lair before slowly floating down, giving the illusion that she has good intentions. However, that facade is broken when she says pathetic, with a lot of attitude. She then leans back on her cauldron, putting her hand on her head dramatically. She uses numerous other dramatic hand gestures to express how much pain the poor unfortunate soul she helps her in. While she sings this one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get the girl, she puts her hands on the chins of Flotsam and Jetsam. Finally, she says yes indeed, which Melissa has made louder and more aggressive when compared to the original movie. The second clip is of dialogue in the middle of the song. It starts with Sebastian and Flounder watching what is going on. Flounder says the sea witch and Sebastian tells him to shush. Ursula pops up beside Ariel and says, so here's the deal. With her arm around Ariel, she states that she will whip up a little potion to make Ariel human for three days, while holding up three fingers to illustrate her point. She then travels to her cauldron, wrapping her tentacles around it, whilst explaining to Ariel that she must kiss Prince Eric before the sun sets on the third day. She then specifies that this kiss needs to be the kiss of true love, while making her tentacles form a heart. When Ursula tells Ariel that the kiss will make her human permanently, there is a close-up of Halle Bailey's face, and she seems tempted by Ursula's offer. Ursula then attacks Ariel with her tentacles, placing them all over her body, while telling her that if she doesn't get the kiss, she will turn back into a mermaid. She then proceeds to drag Ariel towards her. Ursula also tells Ariel that she will belong to her, and Ursula's face looks extremely evil in this close-up. Various other clips have shown some other parts of this scene, which I wanted to quickly mention. I want to start with Ursula luring Ariel to her lair. Ariel is holding the hand of Prince Eric's statue in her destroyed grotto when Ursula appears in a bubble portal. Ariel says the sea witch, and Ursula then says, what has your father told you about me? In this video, there is another look at Ariel traveling to Ursula's lair along with her eels Flotsam and Jetsam. In this clip, Ursula is telling Ariel that she can't live in that world unless she becomes a human while circling her cauldron. After Ariel questions whether this is the right decision, Ursula says her iconic line, life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Here Ursula grabs three potions with her tentacles and places them in her cauldron. This causes flames to shoot up dominating the area and Flounder and Sebastian react in horror to this. Here we can see Ariel's voice being stolen. There are purple tentacle-like smoke puffs that reach into Ariel's throat and take away her voice which is a yellow glowing ball. Finally, we have seen Ariel's feet attempting to swim to the surface while Ursula laughs manically. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.